and it was a good night at Xfinity Center, 66-55. Maryland wins the race to 60. They win the game. Jameer Young, you'd like to say he's the best player on the court, but Trace Jackson Davis gave a run for his money. Bruce, what'd you see out there? I saw a great effort, a thorough coaching beating by uh, Coach Willard over Coach Woodson. Just incredible. They did a great job on Trace Jackson Davis, but he still was a force. 20 rebounds, 16 points. I mean, the guy's unbelievable. Since 1991, Viner Forgates has completed thousands of projects across the D.C. metro area and around the globe. Use Viner Forgates for your next IT project. Great products, on-point tech support, projects that run on time. These are some of the reasons that customers love Viner Forgates. We make your company work for your next IT project. Call Viner Forgates at 301-251-2900 or on the web at vinerforgates.com. But they really made the other guys shoot and score, and guess what? They couldn't get it done. Another Jameer Young performance, 19, 20 points, I think, and uh, across the board, Martinez came in for uh, Donald Carey. He didn't have a great game. Uh, Dante Scott was missing from the outside, but played his heart out, did so much inside. Just a great win. Greg Manning, who played here, was on the radio here, uh, athletic director at Georgia State. A uh, long time ago, long yes, and, and now I got a company that we do some character education stuff for elementary school and middle school folks, but uh, you know, I'd rather play golf and fly fish, so well, that's, that's kind of what I do. Well, you were here for a lot of classic Maryland games. Uh, this maybe not up to the ACC standard, but it was fun tonight. You know they're playing really well. They played. You know you look at the game tonight, and and they defended in the paint really well as they've been doing. And and Young is playing like a uh, like an All Big Ten player. I mean he's really tough. So I told my son, I said, look, you got three home games, got to win them all. They did that. Now they go to Minnesota on the weekend. They can steal that one. It's hard to win on the road, but you know they're playing. They got a whole court here, and they did that. Great crowd tonight. Not full, but great crowd. And, uh, you know, they're playing really well. I mean, they're playing at a high level, and, and uh, I mean, they're, it's, they're, they're playing super. Your quick opinion of Coach Willard as he walks out here? Yeah, he's done a great job. I mean, he's, he's stepped into a really difficult situation. Uh, had a lot of – had some players coming back that are playing really well. I mean, Dante Scott, he gets in, his, he gets in the lane here. He's, he's as good as anybody in the country. So, I mean, Kevin's done a great job. I mean, he's, he's rallied these guys. And, and so, yeah, I mean, I, you know, I love him. They're doing great. Greg Manning, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming on. Well, it's always a pleasure, right. guys. Really hope you come back again. Yeah, we'll be back. Maybe we'll see you at the final four. And we're going to go to break here. Brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting and the Jack Litch Law Group. We'll be back with Mason in a moment. I think the first thing that has to be proved by the lawyer on behalf of any client who's injured their neck or back is that the client was hurt and they were hurt in this accident. And even though they had pre-existing problems, the damage to this individual client is much worse now after the crash than it was before. We do that with pain and suffering witnesses. We do that with doctors that know the individual patient. Now we're back here, still won the game, it still was a great time. What did you see out there? Yeah, I think Ian Martinez is the guy you have to isolate. If you look at the stat sheet, plus 18 on the game. All of the Terps finish in the plus scoring category, other than Jahari Long, who was only one point down. That's going to be the key for this team. If they can rotate guys through like a million long Martinez and get positive performances, this team can go a long way and, and get back to that form. And they pick up another quad one win tonight, which is big for the tournament. Uh, I believe only a quad four opportunity, but a must win game in conference uh, come Saturday night. I think the win on Saturday night, if they get it, and I'm not so sure they'll get it, will put them back in the top 25. I'm not positive. 
but it'll uh, certainly at least get votes. Well, they beat a number twenty. Yeah, they'll get. They'll they beat get, a twenty-one. They'll team get tonight. votes right now. It's really logjam at, at that end of the top twenty-five, and it's hard to go from not receiving votes to in when you only beat the number twenty-one team in one poll. And you have the College of Charleston at the end of that. You have FAU there. Look, one of the odd things about this game is Maryland actually had fewer field goals than did Indiana. Maryland goes 25 for 29 at the line. They only missed two free throws in the prior game against Nebraska. So you missed six free throws in two games. Indiana, and I was down at that end of the court in the first half, was complaining vociferously on those foul calls. They really thought they had the short end of the stick in the first half. But when you get 29 free throws against, I think, Indiana was 10 of 14, that's a big difference. The plus 15... Well, that that ends up being the scoring difference. It's a plus 15. It it does, and when you look at what this team's doing right now as a whole, they're playing the exact kind of basketball they need to to win these games, which is they're really killing the game, making it a free-throw shooting contest, and and really, I mean, at points in this game, what was it, one for 11 from three? They're still shooting a little bit too much from that, but when they get to the basket, they concentrate it, they rack a lot of fouls up against their opponents here at home. Now, as we all know, Refing doesn't necessarily travel in your favor on the road, and, and I think that's showing when you look at the fact this team is, is not winning conference games on the road, but hopefully that changes. Bruce, so. the team slowed down at the end. They drove those last few possessions. Very few people touched the ball. They made sure it was either Scott or Young. When you say out coached, is, is that what you're talking that's about? That's part of it, but also Indiana was not ready for our press, and our press destroyed them in the second half. They, it took them so long to get in their rhythm that they were just forcing passes, you know, into Trace, uh, Trace Jackson Davis. But it just didn't work. But I got a stat for you guys. I talked about it with Mason. First half, ready? Zero turnovers. Wayne, I never remember that. I'm sure it probably happened. That's a good way to win. Zero turnovers. It, it leaves a happy bunch of Turp Talk guys here. Maryland 66. 55. The next home game is Penn State, although you might find us out on lacrosse field in Loyola for that one. Uh, but that'll do it for tonight. Once again, thanks to Viner Forgates. Thanks to Rick Jacklich. It's been a great night. At hey, and if Bruce didn't remember it, it didn't happen.